Needing positivity all around you Many life struggles trying to hold you down When your goal is being great to push through dark clouds That try to tear you down Cancers, my cancers. What's popping water, babies? Honey, did you miss me? Huh? Huh? I miss y'all motherfucking asses. Listen, long time no see. I know that you miss me because I missed you as well, honey. Listen, Cancer. Happy 2021, my baby. Please forgive me for not getting around to your energy for the month of December, you guys. As well as the earlier half of January. Listen, 2021 started off with the motherfucking bang. You understand me? So listen, <laughs> you guys, y'all know. Charge my mind, not my heart, honey. Because it's been going down, alright? Also, hey, boo, hey, if this is your first time on my channel, I'm Mocha. Also, this first time you're on my channel, look out. I cuss, okay? May cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell the cards say. Oh, but I'm a cuss, okay? So if cussing don't work for you, please feel free right down now, okay? To fi go find another beautiful reader here that can further assist you without cussing, because me, this is my shit. This is how we do it. Sha -da 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 -da. Okay? It's my shit, all right? Thank you for the likes, the shares, the subscribes, the comments, you guys, the donations, the emails, you guys checking in on me, the love. Thank you from the most humblest space ever, okay? Also, if you're new to the family, <laughs> Hey, but welcome to the family, honey. We're a little dysfunctional over here now, okay? We don't fight and fuss, though. We leave that shit on other people's channel. But we do cuss. <laughs> we share. We grow. We love. Uh, we enlighten. We evolve. Positive vibes only, okay? You guys, this is this message uh, will be for cancer for the end of Ju January 2021 into February. I ain't say February. Like, just like Kirk Franklin put that spin on that lovely, uh, lovely day, okay? It's going to be January to February, okay, 2021, all right? You guys, this message is not going to resonate with every damn cancer. Take what does, leave the rest. If that motherfucking shoe is too big, your ass going to fall, period, all right? So I'm going to try to put that fucking shoe on. If it don't fit you, let another cancer put it on, all right? Let a fucking cross-watcher put it on. Y'all cross-watchers be mad, cancer. Cancer, why y'all cross-watchers be so mad? Cancer, word in the street is that y'all dealing with a manipulative motherfucker, Okay? Word on the street is somebody don't know you got standards and you're not for their shit in their head in a perfect world to this motherfucker. Okay, you guys are you 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 you're the you're the power couple. You're the fucking toxic couple to be. All right, somebody does not want to see their own shit. And cancer, I feel like I speak for all cancers when I say I'm fuck. You're fucking sick of it. We sick of it. We don't got no time for that. All right? To the left, to the left. All the toxic shit that you're doing to the left. Mm -hmm. All right? We ain't got time for that. All right? So, you guys, we're going to jump right into it, okay? I'm going to get into my intuitive messages. Then we're going to pull from a or uh, a wisdom healing oracle message um, for the month of uh, late January into February to see what stones will be useful. We're going to jump into the tarot. Then we're going to get some advice from the Soul's Journey Lessons card. Soul Lessons Journey. Listen, y'all know what the fuck it is. Y'all listen. Okay, go goggle it. All right, so listen, let's jump right into it. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, as well as the Cross Watchers and the North Node of Cancer. All right, so you guys, you guys, while channeling your energy, all right, I got two songs an Aries, a, a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Virgo, Pisces, Leo. Libra and Capricorn may be of significance, okay? Alright, so the first song that I got for you all is my it's my new shit. Okay? He's shout out to Gang Gang for making this song. I don't even know I like this song until I heard it in your channel messages. So I'm gonna go look that shit up, right? Honey, talk about it was a banger. Some of y'all could be banging this, okay? But it's by Young Blue. Blue spell B L E U. Okay, that new wave shit. Young Blue. Okay, it's called and it's featuring Drake. It's called Mind Steel. And it's, um, they say time heals. Don't go build a life without me, cause you mind steel. And I don't wanna go unless you make me. Ladies, wait. 
Wait, and she don't wanna wait. No, and she don't wanna go to sleep. She angry. Lately, she been noticing he ain't me. Okay, so Cancer, someone feels like you're theirs. Okay, I'm also hearing trophy. Like someone wants, someone wants someone to like look good on their arm, but they don't want to take the responsibility or the actual actions or the compromises or have the compassion or any of that shit that that that, that actually um, is the foundation of a great relationship. Somebody wants you to shut the fuck up. Be in they fucking shadows, okay? But you theirs. Who do that? Tag me in. Let me smack this motherfucker back into twinkie twink. Well, I don't know what old age that then people came from, but counsel's not for that shit, all right? Um, and also with that energy, I did hear parent, okay? So this could also be a very uh, an overshadowing parent, all right? The next song that I got for you all was my shit, Summer Walker, Settling, okay? Um. I can't live with you, and I can't live without you, mm -hmm. and my hand is on the trigger, pull it off for you, um, and I can't come to choose what I'm gonna do, and my heart says cry if it ain't you, okay. Settling by Summer Walker. So uh, the, the part that I sung, the part that I'm singing in the, uh, with the intuitive songs, that's the part that I did channel of significance, okay? Um, but I definitely felt this energy of needing to let something go or knowing that you need to let something go. However, not wanting to see what that reality looks like or not yet accepting that. For some of you all, you are, okay? It's the other person of the cross watcher that's not accepting it. But for some of you all, that is coming into this space of acceptance, totally surrendering to the universe divine plan okay and really 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 stepping into your destiny i feel like some of y'all are being thrusted into your destiny okay so the intuitive messages that i got for y'all y'all got a whole fucking bitch y'all y'all put a bitch to work 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 castle on me work 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 okay let's get it you guys got shadow work mirroring interference entitlement shadowing you Sexual harassment, karmic justice, thief, scam artist. Damn, y'all got thief and scam artist. Watch your money cancel, okay? Watch your purse. Reciprocation, um, refusing to let go, boundaries, new love, secret admirer, dodge the bullet, parallel universes, jealous ex, return of the narcissist, Heightened gifts and awareness, focus, lucky break, psychological warfare, new home, career transition, perception shift, root chakra, law of attraction, celibacy, mirror magic, past life, portals, comedics, regression, I'm sorry, past life regression, unexpected finances, belief system, sigil magic, projections, paperwork, constructive criticism, creativity, psychic attacks, psychic protection, love spell, subconscious revelations, astral stalking, voodoo priestess, generational curse, silent moves, silence you, aesthetics, online store, Conspiracy, gang stalking, cancer, honey, <laughs> cancer, cancer, cancer. Who got you fucked up? Okay. Big emphasis on the psychological warfare. For some of you all, you're dealing with someone. I, some of you guys could be studying different type of like personality disorders or personality uh, behavioral traits. Okay, or the, the the behavioral traits of someone with personality disorder, sociopathics, um, sociopathic behavior, narcissistic behavior, psychopathic behavior, or there's a need to. Okay, for some of you all, you could be mental health specialists. You could also work in the mental health field. Okay, or the medical field. Also, I'm also picking up on the a lot of herbal divination okay holistic healing some of you guys could actually be living more so holistically you're cutting things out of your diet some of you guys are going to notice um, especially as we get into the first week of February some of you guys may be experiencing some type of like 
gastric issue or some type of digestive issue when it comes to um, processed foods okay so some of you all may be falling back from the fast food your body's not able to process that I am picking up a lot of DNA activations a lot of light codes around that all right so I do feel I do I do pick up on the aspect of a massive awakening okay um I'm also seeing for some of you all lock your car because I feel like for some of y'all you could have recently moved or you could be getting ready to move away from a particular like environment or a neighborhood. Whoever you move, some of y'all could have gotten to with your neighbor something about the summertime being significant, okay? Or this could have even been last spring of 2020, but something significant, uh, something of significance regarding your neighbors. I'm also picking up on someone could be stealing your mail or your packages, okay? So some of you all you may be uh like hip big catching on to this. So some of you all may, may want to install some type of like spy cam or eye cam or some type of like doorbell cam or something to that extent because I definitely feel whoever this is they're like and this is like y'all know I don't really touch on races and shit but this is somebody Hispanic doing this okay it's somebody Hispanic or Caucasian but someone's definitely stealing your packages especially if you own your own business or some type of at home business or this could even be like work supplies or something that you use to do your work if it's being delivered to you be sure that you're tracking your packages okay I'm also picking up on the energy as well someone digging heavily into to you like cancer someone I'm also someone is obsessed with that, that someone needs to know your next move or you another person because for cancer some of you all I am hearing not all of y'all hands is clean okay some of you all this is definitely and I, I, I expect at this point because some signs don't like to be told about they shit and I love y'all cancer but some of y'all especially my masculine cancers y'all don't like to be told about your fucking self I am picking up on something around accountability okay um there's a lack thereof of accountability and some type of partnership I'm also picking up on the energy of like pointed fingers like someone finds issues within all of your flaws but this person is just completely fuck they legally blind to their own fucking bullshit all right um, so somebody need to call P.O.P. Because this motherfucker got you fucked up. Yeah, I'm going to wake your ass. Wake your ass up. Okay? Um, I'm also picking up on someone actually mirroring the shadow aspects of yourself. Okay? I'm picking up on also some type of unexpected loss. So this could actually be having to do with like your money. If some of you all been feeling to take your money out the banks, you own the fucking money with that. Because I am seeing some type of the crashing of some type of institution or the crashing of some type of system. Okay? Um... This could also, huh, I'm going to say a little bit, because um, Facebook just fucking, they just, it's all over for you. It cut my shit short. Um, but I definitely picked up on the energy. If some of you all have been skeptical about receiving that vaccine, I'm going to say this. I mean, y'all better use for context clues, okay? Death, okay? Um, it's all over for you, all right? Um... I'm also picking up on the genetics, okay, with that back. And as we pertain to the, I'm trying to go around it, y'all. So, because y'all know I just, blah, but I'm working on it, all right? Genetics, restriction, barriers, tracking. Invasion of privacy. But the biggest thing that my ancestors are wanting me to stick like the biggest thing that they wanted me to stick to with that is the manipulation of genetics okay now we leaving it there okay so let's get into it let's get a crystal wisdom healing oracle message for my uh for my cancer babies someone rising venus cross watchers and the north node and the north node all right i am hearing unveiling okay some of you guys may be discovering some type of truth about your family or the inheritance of your family's gifts okay this could also have to do with um this could also be someone trying to silence you or someone trying to manipulate or I'm hearing fake thief, okay? So someone could be trying to steal or cipher your gifts. Whew. Also hearing paradigm shift. Some of you all, I'm also hearing help is on the way. I'm, I'm picking up some the energy around an air sign, a fire sign, being an air sign and a fire sign being of significance, okay? I feel like you're going to have to really trust your discernment as it pertains to creative criticism or someone actually trying to come in and assist you because I'm strongly hearing help is on the way. For some of you all, this definitely has to do with the with like, with like with protecting your assets, protecting your content, okay? Um, I'm also picking up on the energy of, again, protecting your gifts. Someone could also be showing you how 
how to use divination to protect yourself, okay? Because for some of you all, you got a friend that ain't your friend. This this individual behind the scenes is into some really fucking dark ass shit. And I feel like for some of you all, you could actually be receiving like subconscious revelations regarding this, okay? But for some of you all, I'm literally hearing checkmate. Like for someone, someone's really trying to pull your number. Be very careful on um entertaining work gossip as well, Cancer. I feel like someone is trying to, somebody wants your spot. Someone knows that you have a blessing coming in when it pertains to your work, okay? I'm hearing accolades, okay? So this could definitely be you being praised for something that you created. This could also be you being praised for something that you've done at work or something that you've actually created or invented or some type of, something around the system of innovation as it pertains to your work, okay? How you do things. I'm hearing alternate routes. So some of you guys could have been feeling restricted or blocked with doing something, but you're going to discover like an alternate way of doing something, okay? Give me a crystal message. Ooh, so let me touch on this. My condolences for those of you who have recently lost someone. I felt the cancel was going to make me cry. But someone's father wants me to confirm for them that they have. That it's been them with the flickering lights in their home. Okay. I'm also hearing shadow people. Some of you all have been seeing shadows in your home. For some of you all, this is not okay. Clean your fucking space. Okay. But for some of you all, you have the gift of mediumship. And I feel like your ancestors are not trying to scare the shit out of you. But I feel like someone's waiting for you to be receptive to your gifts someone's i feel like there's a father figure that's trying to assist you with walking into your gifts gracefully but i feel like for some of you all there's a fear around it or a fear around how people will perceive you if they knew that you had this gift okay okay oh peridot 14 Number five, five brings change. You guys are definitely changing the way that you do things, changing the way you eat, changing um, changing things around what it is that you digest. You guys are also, I'm picking up on this energy of like being very aware of what you put into your body. With Dr. C, be say even that toxic D, honey, okay? Be very aware of toxic D. It's, it's toxic, fuck. All right, Peridot. <clears throat> Emotional cleansing. Y'all know we don't chop and screw these fucking messages. We're going to read them as is. Peridot frees the mind from unwelcome envious thoughts and night terrors. It is transmut it's transmutative and purifying. You are deeply emotional and may possessively cling to the past or beat yourself up over mistakes. By nature jealous, by nature jealous, you have dark thoughts. Detoxify your emotions. Learn to forgive and let go. Follow your own life plan without judging yourself or being envious of others. You have the power to go through fiery transmutation and emerge transformed. Use energy wisely. Recognize how outside influences operate in your life. Develop your own protection. Learn to rely on your own inner guidance. Peridot in indicates farewells and disappointments in love. Avoid jealousy. Be assertive without aggression. You have a powerful destiny and great integrity. Money is earned from your talents. Again, thrusting you into that purpose. Healing insight, envy, and jealousy harm you as well as hurting others. Frequency of this stone is earthy to high. The chakra that it governs is the heart and the solar plexus. Good for Leos, Virgos, Libra, Scorpio, and Sagittarius, and those with the soul path of emotional purification. Okay? Cancer, let that shit go baby girl <laughs> well let that shit go okay i definitely picked up on the energy again accepting surrendering that things are what they are or, or, or allowing the chips to fall where they may okay i'm also picking up on the energy of public eye okay so this could be either someone comparing their self to if you're in the public eye this could be someone comparing their selves their gifts to you okay someone's in secret competition with you or you another person okay and i feel like whoever's on the receiving end of this energy they don't give a fuck this could be you or someone else okay so let's jump into this saddle see what's going on my baby it's been a while so we're gonna ch uh, check into the recent past energy <clears throat> all right i feel all spicy with y'all i want to get uh so we're using the mermaid tarot by lisa robertson <clears throat> these cards are so beautiful i said listen i gotta dig it from I'm, if i'm gonna dig in the wall this honey we're gonna jump in all the way with this mermaid tarot all right so spirit what message do you have for my cancers for the month of January 2021 with the end of January 2021 into February 2021? Show me their recent past, Spirit. Show me where they've been. Recent past, Cancer. Some of you all could have been dealing with the Leo. I feel like someone someone could have tried. 
Okay, some of y'all could be dealing with it. Some of you guys feel caught up in a situation with the Sagittarius or someone feels as if they're like stuck in a situation as to where they can't express themselves fully. Someone's also scared of rejection here, okay? I'm also picking up on you guys running out of patience with another person. I feel like you love this individual, but you're tired of their shit. This could definitely have to do with the water sign, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, like yourself, or a fire sign. Every little Sagittarius, okay? Sag and Leo is definitely in the building, all right? I feel like for some of you all, someone is triggering childhood traumas or childhood wounds i'm hearing um i'm also hearing soul retrieval okay so some of you guys this could definitely be some type of like this could definitely be some type of intense past life soul connection to another individual okay even if this is family because i am also hearing family even if this is family i feel like there is some type of like uh, balancing of the skills or there's some type of karmic balance that's trying to come in but it's going to come in through the releasing of something okay or letting something go i feel like for some of you all this is triggering to the heart chakra because for some of you all you've been very um i'm going to say overly defensive as it pertains to your heart all right yeah for some of you all you could be moving away from an air sign or again there could be an air sign that's coming in to assist you or give you some type of like spiritual insight or some type of advice or some type of tool of resource as it pertains to your journey moving forward okay or how to deal with some deal with coping with some type of abuse i am hearing narcissistic abuse again psychological warfare okay mind games some of you all could also be, something could be illuminated around you regarding an air sign. I feel like for some of you all, you're going to be very shocked about what it is that you find out. For some of you all, this could definitely pertain to your mom. Some of you all need to call your mom if you haven't been speaking. Present energy for cancer, okay? I see a lot of you all are working on your manifestations, all right? For some of you all, you could actually be dating and exploring your options, but I feel like there's this sense of emptiness or there's a sense of dissatisfaction as it pertains to who it is that you're attracting or people just actually being on your vibration, on your wavelength. So some of you all are choosing to focus on work, okay, presently. I feel like for some of you all, you could have manifested, some of y'all could be manifesting um, manifesting a phone call or manifesting hearing from another person. This person could definitely be an air sign, Gemini or Libra Aquarius. I feel like someone left the situation without closure. And I feel like you're being forced to move forward or spirit is like urging you to move forward. But there's still this element of looking over your shoulder, honey, okay? Some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces. For others of you, this could actually involve some type of closure to a third party situation. Some of y'all are going to find out why someone manipulated the situation. Someone someone came into a situation, honestly, with the intention of just having sex, and I feel like someone fell in love, and you were dealing with someone who actually is emotionally unavailable. Whoever this person is, strong Sagittarius energy, okay? But I feel like whoever this individual is, this person, I'm also picking up the energy of some of y'all, like, Okay, Cancer. Some of you all, you could have known that this person had a spouse. Or they known that you had a spouse. I feel like one person told the truth. The other person lied like hell. And this is being illuminated to you. But I feel like whoever they played you for, like whoever played a person in this situation, I feel like they're going through a situation where they got played the same way they played another person. You lose them how you meet them. Yeah. For some of you all, this could be involving a, uh, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could also be involving an Aries specifically or a Scorpio, Mars energy here. For some of you all, there's accepting that you have to let a situation go or that a situation has completely died, okay? I feel like someone feels entitled to a particular person, a particular relationship, a particular partnership, a particular dynamic. Um, I'm also hearing entitled to your success. Are you another person? I feel like someone's also giving you a different perception as it pertains to how you looked at a particular incident. For some of you all, you're going to find out that you actually dodged a bullet. Someone has a sexual addiction here, Cancer. I feel like somebody dick for everybody, okay? That pussy for everybody. I, I strongly feel like whoever this individual is, someone has, someone has a sex addiction because they're not choosing or someone is choosing to mask some type of sex, sexual, sexual addiction or some type of truth regarding their sexuality. It has to do with some type of childhood trauma around molestation as well. And I'm also hearing genetics. So this is, could be something that runs in someone's lineage. Okay. I'm also hearing incest. Shit, cancer. All right. So show me. Cancers expect. Yeah. For some of you all, some of you guys could be secretly working on a particular on a particular project okay if this has to do with some type of presentation around your job be very be very careful to like if this is like a some type of like group assignment if this is work 
okay definitely make sure that you're getting the credit for your work that you deserve because i feel like someone's trying to use or somebody somebody's trying to steal your creative genius and take credit for your work all right for some of you all this could also have to do with some type of um collaboration with another individual I feel like for some of you all who are wanting to collaborate with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, I feel like someone, yeah, this looks very positive, okay, because I see, I see that some of you guys are definitely like starting something new, launching something, and it looks very successful here with this damn queen of fucking, uh, queen of pentacles here, okay, for some of you all, there is some type of tower moment around some type of unexpected pregnancy, and in the midst of going through this, you're going to find that you didn't really know the person who you was fucking with at all, okay, this individual is a coward, Cancer. Someone is choosing, someone is, yeah, for some of y'all, someone's plan is to reconcile with you and get you pregnant so that you have to be stuck with them, okay? Someone's secretly trying to set your ass up. Somebody delusional as well, all right? I feel that for some of you all, you're being cautioned to leave a situation, leave a situation behind. Some of y'all is dealing with a situation that is affect, like, it, it's, it's karmic, and it's karmically affecting your money and not so, so that's just a positive way, okay? That's a warning for some of you all. If someone's waiting, some okay. I'm also picking up somebody waiting around for you to get something. Cancer. I don't. I'm. I'm hearing inheritance. Okay. So someone could be like plotting on your damn inheritance. Somebody's spending your money before you even get it. There's a need for you to not be predictable as to where you put your money. For some of you all, if you've been thinking about like hiding your money or putting your money like somewhere else or creating some type of external account, do so. Especially, I'm hearing sleeping with the enemy, Cancer. Okay. Some of you all, this could be another water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone could also be in a relationship with you because it's like someone's trying to hold on to, I'm also picking up, someone's trying to like pursue you or some, someone's trying to hold on to you uh, because they got some type of like silent beef with your ex. Someone's jealous of your ex. I'm also picking up on some of you guys could have had a earth sign, Capricorn, towards Virgo, okay? I feel like whoever this individual is, I feel like this person could be very emotionally manipulative. Someone is losing their shit because they cannot pinpoint what you're doing, how you're doing it, how you're getting your money. Someone, yeah, pocket watching is at an all-time high, Cancer. Watch your money, okay? I'm also picking up on someone being in regret for stealing something from you or taking something from you. Someone wishes they can go. Like someone, so yeah, someone's ghost of the past. Someone's demons are hunting they ass. I feel like someone's having a hard time sleeping. I'm also picking up on someone actually being like attacked in their sleep. Someone could actually be like, oh my gosh. Someone could be trying to trap your ass up in the astral planes, Cancer. I feel like someone could be trying to do something very malicious to you within another realm to like separate your spiritual from your physical body your astral body from your physical body oh my gosh some of you guys need to sleep on selenite all right keep some type of black trembling around you some of you guys this could even be putting some type of like if you can get like a a glass or some type of like tub like keep some type of water by your bed okay or near your bed this could even be like on the floor by your bed all right under your bed some of you all, yeah, that could have been an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that was holding on to some type of secrets around money, okay? Some of y'all could be finding out that someone's a fucking, like, somebody got that bag, and this person have been manipulating you, making you feel as if they didn't have it like that. I feel like someone, somebody wanted to spend all your money and save theirs because they secretly have a plan to, like, go back to their ex or some shit. This could have been an ex to who they could have talked shit about, cried to you all fucking night. They ain't learned they listen. Spirit is saying release them, okay? This could definitely be involving a Capricorn. Some of you all could have had, yeah, some of you all have a Pisces individual that could be, or Pisces or Capricorn that could be trying to manipulate you uh, as it pertains to, like, what they do or what they give to your children. Like, somebody wants you to, like, need them on some shit, so they try and put you in uncompromising positions to need them. But I feel like you don't need this motherfucker for shit, all right? Some of you all have a Capricorn, yeah. Some of y'all are going to find out some type of truth regarding an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and a Capricorn, okay? This could also be involving some type of hidden money, okay? Someone could have cut you out of some type of inherited money. Some of y'all could have fire in your chart, all right? Some of you guys, you may receive some type of unexpected call from someone, like, in some type of, like, um government position. This could also be some type of retirement or 401k distribution, Um I feel like someone could have tried to cut you out. If you have a parent that passed and they had a spouse that's like not your other parent, 
some of y'all could be finding out <clears throat> that someone could have tried to manipulate some type of paperwork. I'm literally hearing forgery, okay? Or someone could be trying to use your name. Some of y'all need to check your credit or check your credit report because I feel like for some of y'all, you're going to discover that somebody could have used your name or used your information to like get some type of uh, monetary value. I'm also hearing business grants. Somebody could have used your name to get a business grant. This shit is going to backfire horribly, okay? Some of you guys may be filing a police report. I'm also hearing restraining order. Shit. For some of you all, some of y'all, somebody could be trying to practice some type of mirror magic or there's a need for you to clean your mirrors, okay? I definitely feel the energy of someone like looking into your realm or trying to look into you, okay? This could definitely be an ex-lover. For some of you all, this could be involving a Gemini, but I feel like a lot of projection, a lot of astral projection, a lot of astral stalking, again, a mirror magic scrying into your realm, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys got somebody pulling a lot of fucking, somebody's pulling a lot of fucking cards on you, Cancer. This could definitely be you doing this to an air sign or a fire sign, okay? Somebody's not able to, yeah, somebody could also be, somebody could also be looking into someone's happy home, looking in to see uh, what someone built. Someone's trying to find petty fucking shit or something petty to like report you on cancer. Be Again, be very careful about what you sign as it pertains to new homes, as it pertains to contractual agreements, as it pertains to any type of documentation that you're needing to actually like view. Some of you all may be hiring a lawyer or, or an attorney or there's a need to, to look over some type of documentation or paperwork, okay? Because I feel like the way that somebody's wording something is like fucked up. But someone could definitely be heartbroken over looking into your happiness, your newfound abundance, okay? Some of you guys could have a new love, a new partnership with someone who could possibly be a fire sign or an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and I feel like there's an air sign in the background or another water sign that is salty as hell, okay? I feel like for some of you all, this individual is not able to accept that something is over. Some of y'all could definitely have children with this individual. Some of you guys, you're dealing with a Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Sagittarius, okay? You could have an earth sign child with this individual. Yeah, somebody's definitely watching you. Somebody also has a baby mama that's trying to come out the fucking woodworks, but <laughs> here's the tea. <laughs> this ain't they baby. This ain't they baby. This ain't they baby. Okay? But I feel like this is someone's karma. Okay? Um, I'm also picking up the, yeah. I'm hearing reversal spells. Whatever someone is sending to you, Spirit is saying, like, it's being reversed back onto them, okay? So if some of y'all was wanting to know if your damn reversal magic was working, yeah, bitch, it's popping, okay? Or this could also have to do, yeah. Someone could be, yeah. There, there could be an Aries that's resisting you. I feel like someone, either someone wants to apologize to you or you want to apologize to this person. But I feel like someone's resisting some type of, uh, yeah, someone was resisting some type of ending using magic. This could also be another water sign is what I'm hearing. Gemini, Virgo, Aquarius. Someone could have also been trying to use magic to break someone else's relationship. That shit's going to fucking backfire very badly. Okay. All right. So let me get some advice for my cancers, honey. Because this shit, oh, cancer shit got lit real, little, real fucking fast. Okay. Death. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. For some of you all, someone could have been trying to attack your root chakra. This is, if you're separating from a situation or an individual, a job, this is literally your ancestors coming in, baby, and snatching your ass out of there. Because I feel like for some of you all, you're going to get a front row seat to someone's demise. You are dodging a bullet, okay? For some of you all, you were dealing with someone that is psychologically unstable. You were dealing with someone that is abusive. And I feel like for some of you all, someone actually could be showing you tendencies of this or maybe you didn't pay attention to the red flags but I feel like if you've been feeling to be cautious about how you move or how you move when it comes to leaving something behind yeah some of y'all may have to contact the authorities for some of you all again my condolences for those of you who um could be finding out that you lost someone okay big emphasis on um on um the lungs okay so i'm picking up on someone who could have had lung cancer or someone i'm also hearing tumors okay i'm also hearing uh dementia okay so someone could be losing their memory or some of you guys could be discovering this and i'm also picking up on the heart okay stroke or a heart attack okay i'm also picking up on someone this somebody could be born in like 1965 1966 19 okay 1963 this is definitely involving someone's parent or aunt 
Okay, I'm, I am picking up on masculine as well as feminine energy, but some of you guys could be getting some disturbing news regarding someone's health cancer, okay? And I feel like there's, there's, there's this sense of like, maybe you weren't speaking to this individual, okay? Someone could have also did, I'm also hearing, somebody could have tried to do something, like somebody could have tried to kill somebody, like straight up. Somebody could have used magic to try and like really harm somebody. And I feel like someone's like trying to reverse what the fuck they did or someone's trying to like fix what they did. But someone really doesn't fucking know how. Somebody shouldn't have been playing with no spell work. Because I feel like the karmic effect to this is them losing somebody that they love. Okay? Whew. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Okay? So someone regrets how they did you. Someone regrets how something ended. Someone regrets. Um, I feel like... I feel like the thought of how someone did you or what someone did is like replaying over and over and over and over again. And it's causing a sense of mental anguish. And I feel like it's making somebody emotionally, physically, as well as mentally ill. Okay. Whew. So Cancer, this has been your reading. You guys, I love you long time. Please let me know how this resonates, honey, because this was a very deep message. Um, if you need a personal reading again, y'all better tap, tap, tap in. That information can be found below. And until uh, mid-February, I love you long time. Bye, my babies.